Millennials are marvelous. They can be your friend or they can be your enemy. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about why Napoleon would not think that all materials are so magnifique. Hi, my name is Anissa Ramirez. Welcome to Science Explained and to Yale's West Campus. The year 2012 is the 200th year anniversary of Napoleon's invasion into Russia in 1812. It was a failed campaign. Napoleon went in with 600,000 men and returned with 10,000 men. That's less than 2% that returned. Why was this such an ill-fated campaign? Well, Napoleon had to fight the elements. One of the elements was a cold Russian winter. It must have been very unpleasant to fight under those conditions. The other element that he had to fight was tin, which was one of the major ingredients in the buttons that were used in the uniforms. They were used to hold pants up and to keep coats closed. Now, you may not know this, but tin undergoes a change when temperatures get lowered. At our temperature, tin is a nice, shiny metal. However, when tin experiences temperatures that are lower than 56 degrees Fahrenheit or 13 degrees Celsius, tin turns to dust. So legend has it that Napoleon's army was foiled by buttons. These buttons fell and turned into dust, causing probably the world's greatest wardrobe malfunction. Now, whether that's true or not, the legend says that this is the case. What we certainly know about is that tin is very important for our lives today. Tin is a major component for solder, and solder is a glue that holds electronics together. So anything that has an on-off button, like a cell phone, laptop, computer, has solder in it and has tin in it. And since it's so important for our technologies, it's so important that people who mine it control it. And so there's lots of conflicts about this material and lots of wars in efforts to control how this material flows. In fact, tin has the unusual designation as being a conflict material because it's related to human suffering. So you see, materials are not static objects. They have impact, and they can be the center of conflict, both old and new. I'm Anissa Ramirez. Thank you for joining me at Science Explained, and I hope that you'll join us for another edition.